What is up guys? Pwn here and today I've got a review that I didn't think I was going to do. I was a little late to the game to get the Tri-Strike so I was going to wait until Cyber Monday to actually pick it up but Aaron here had one. He actually got it pretty recently off Amazon. They did a little sale so he picked up one for cheap. Uh, this was actually what 35 bucks? Yeah I think of it less. And are you part of Nerf Perks? Do you no, need the no, Nerf Perks? No. You should because this month the Nerf Perks uh, is double, double the points for the Tri-Strike. Sign up on their website and you get a thousand points. And I think for 1200 points you get three free missiles. Oh, I'd look into that for sure. Uh, I also picked up this, uh, the Modulus Under Barrel, kind of basically a double jolt. I uh, didn't really care about the other I things. Jolts. Yeah, this this one fires, so I got this one, <laughs> the, the laser or flashlight or whatever. Nah, don't, don't really care about that, but let's check out the Tri-Strike. I'm pretty excited. All right, so let me ask you right off the bat. You've been playing around with this. What do you like about the Tri-Strike? Most people who are nerfers as children, or maybe even nowadays, they had the Maverick, and a lot of us had the long shot. And I really wanted something that was bolt action and then also really powerful in slam fire. And while this comes with a lot of extra attachments, it's also just a really solid bolt action blaster. So it's got sl even though it's bolt action, it does slam fire? Yeah, no, it's real it's good slam fire. Let's call it a master key that shoots megas. Yeah. And a missile launcher. And these are all detachable blasters you can use separately on any almost any system. It stays true to its name. It's very yeah. modular. It's a lot of the other modulus blasters, they've had all the small attachments, but I feel like this is Probably the most modular, modular blaster, where there's a bunch of blasters which you can keep adding onto each other instead of just maybe a jolt or like, you know, an extra stock. This is very modular. Alright, well I'm gonna get this opened up too, mm -hmm. um, and then yeah, we'll mess around with all of them. Alright, so we got the underbarrel jolt on there. It does, it's kind of loose, um, mm -hmm. honestly, so as a foregrip, it's a little disappointing for how loose it is. You brought a recon Mark II, right? Yeah, I if you want to put it on the side. Maybe this is your deal. We got a Recon Mark II here. It's not exactly convenient. Maybe if you're a lefty, you know, I would do it if I was a lefty. It is. It would be nice if it was also a Mega, maybe like a, a Big Shock. Oh, yeah. I've always thought it was good to have multiple ammunition types when you're doing this. That is one of the things that excited me most about the Tri-Strike, was yeah. the idea of a lot of different games will have different ammunition, have different variables, like the larger... Uh, grenades will do special damage or something like that, and so I thought that was also a good opportunity just to have that many different systems yeah. in one purchase. I think that's an excellent design, just instead of having that whole awkward put it on the top system, just giving you a functional grenade launcher type deal on its own, yeah. and I think it looks really nice like this, aside from the tube which is obviously protruding a bit. Here's just an example of possibly one of the modulus possibilities. If you take the Recon Mark II and put this stock grenade launcher attachment on it, I think it actually is a very nice fit. It fits well in your hand, and it doesn't block anything, and it's not in the way. And so that could just give you a second option, and look pretty good to boot. I guess let's see how all these perform. Yeah. I'll fire some shots over the chronograph at all four of these things, and then we'll go out and we'll see if you can shoot me with a missile from 35 feet. <laughs> A bit higher, I guess. It's really angled. Oh, there you go. First three are really good. Good range. Wow. Impressive. That is, that is pretty good. Let's just do this, kid. Why not? <laughs> you know what? As I said, it's actually decent performance. <laughs> A little less accurate, but. Okay. It was already pretty nice. Okay. <laughs> That's more like it. And the last one, poomed. Very inconsistent. Here. Try to do it on, try okay, to do we'll do the shoulder. I just want to see. Yeah. That's ugly. Let's get this, really. They like to go into the right, I guess. <laughs> Usually, I'm pressing something and get here. Alright, so after uh, testing it on the chronograph and going on the range, the main blaster gets an FPS of 65, which is is good. It's pretty standard FPS, and it showed on the range. You were definitely able to hit me with quite a few shots. It was a bit inaccurate, but I mean, it's nerf. Yeah. It's nerf. And the slam fire didn't seem to detract too much from the range. No, I'd say slam firing feels pretty good. It's a very sharp cock, 
but it still felt very effective, and there's definitely a lot of tension behind the springs. And then with the underbarrel front attachment, or the master key, um, got an FPS of 32, which is pretty bad for Megas, but... We got really surprising performance on the range. It has a bit of an awkward system where it fired two of the darts at once, but I was very impressed and surprised by this guy. I'm definitely thinking of running it if I needed it. Definitely. I definitely agree. On the range, it was astonishingly better than if I just ran across the chronograph. Uh, it was fairly inconsistent though, it would fire one, sometimes two, and then sometimes spit one out, but if you fire two, it was able to hit me with when it fired two at the same time, or at least get to 35 feet, and then a few, yeah, went over the fence and into the road. I was definitely happy with yeah, that. Yeah, surprisingly good. The missile launcher, I was kind of unconvinced of. I don't feel like anyone's liked any of the missile launchers that much, so I'd say it's about par. Yeah. It's an awkward system with the pushing from the back, and the pushing from the shoulder strategy, pushing from the shoulder strategy definitely seemed poor. You definitely wanted to try to get a grip, in my opinion. What do you think about this little fella? This was an FPS of 58. Uh, the jolt, as I've, from my testing, has gotten about 52. This guy is heftier than he feels like he has to be. Actually, this is bigger than um, a triad, yeah. now that I think about it. And it definitely didn't feel much better than a triad, and it's essentially firing two. So. I feel like you should just buy a triad, to be honest. The handle is definitely weird. It's compared to a Jolt, which I always thought was very comfortable. On even a triad, the very tiny one. Yeah, even the tiniest thing was comfortable. This kind of has a strange feel to it. MSRP, this was $7.99, and a Jolt you can get for like $5, but we're really not talking about huge money <laughs> anyway. I don't know, if you really want the attachment, throw it on the side, throw it on the bottom. This is, it's, it fires better than a Jolt, but it feel ergonomically, I think it's worse than a Jolt. Least favorite things and two favorite things about well, this whole setup. Well, the grenade launcher can be awkward, and I feel like it's not as impressive as the rest of the system. And also, a bit of an awkward design, the magazine release is incredibly far from the trigger, so you, I don't, you'd have to have some crazy fingers to be able to reach it, which means you have to go with the system where you pull it back and then use your hand right here. So that's rather awkward. And favorite things, as we said, very impressed by the Mega Launcher. I feel like that no one expected anything from it, and it was a very useful tool. And the slam fire felt very good. I mean, I felt like, compared to some other ones that jam a lot, this felt like it could be very reliable, considering the handle. You paid 35 or yeah. a dish. I think it's definitely worth 35 Is it worth 50 For 50 you'd have to very much want to have all those different systems. Because, personally, I was mostly excited for the main body. Yeah. And I felt like the rest was a bonus for me. But for 50, you would have to very much say, I want a grenade launcher even if it's a bit so par, and I really want that Master Key Mega. Yeah. Which, uh, for the Mega, I'd say, is a reasonable idea. So, try strike maybe an underrated gem. I mean, when Cyber Monday comes around, we'll see how cheap it gets anyway, but if they sold this separately, I might buy a couple of those, because these are... Oh, the wow. front barrel attachment's pretty cool, I think. Yeah. Even, even with the inconsistency, it's fun to just kind of... Shotgun! You know, especially... It's also nice if you're out of ammo. Yeah. Just to have. Yeah, I guess that's it for this review. As always, Amazon links down below. And again, this is the blaster of the month for the Nerf perks. You should get on that, I should. for sure. As always, uh, thanks to Aaron. Appreciate it. Thanks for having me. You can be serious about Nerf, but don't take Nerf too seriously. Get some good deals on Amazon. Yeah.